Hey everybody, it's me, Lady T, with another review from Bleds. Well, I was contacted again and was asked to review this 6x6 marble paper. This paper has some beautiful designs and um, they only are on one side of the paper. Because I'm not a person who does scrapbook booking, I really don't know what to do with these papers, though the colors are very pretty. Um, and in person, they are very vibrant. And let's just see what I tried to do with one of them. So I chose the purple one. And I'm going to make a pair of earrings with the paper. So I got these wood rounds from Amazon. And I got this uh, glitter bling wrap from Dollar Tree. So you see me here measuring out and now I'm going to trace the wood round slash earring and cut it out. I tried to put that in the center but it didn't work and I'm kind of glad it didn't because that's where I needed to cut it. but you can cut yours to any size you want. So now I'm just putting Mod Podge on the paper and on the earring. And I'm adding the bling from the Dollar Tree, the bling wrap from the Dollar Tree. Just getting a little close there so you can see what is going on. And I got a little Mod Podge on the ribbon. Try not to do that because whatever you put Mod Podge on, the glitter is going to stick to. But that's okay. That glitter I got from Amazon about a couple of years ago. It is so pretty and sparkly. I got these um, fish hooks also from Amazon. And these are the fish hooks that you can just clamp onto the earring without having to use a jump ring. However, if you wanted to use a jump ring, you could. But I like these because it's easier for my hands. It's easier for me to work with than trying to deal with jump rings. And as you can tell, they have colors on them. So I took out the color that best matched the earring. So here I'm just duplicating what I did to the first earring. Just to show you something that you can do with uh, this marble paper from Bleds. And again, I'm not a scrapbooker, um, but I will use paper to make earrings. And unless I come up with some other type of craft to use the paper with, I'll be limiting mines to earrings. <laughs> and I kept manipulating the Mod Podge because if you leave lines like that, you will see it in your design. So... When I punch a hole in my paper, I usually start at the back and then I go through the front to try and push the front to the back to leave a clean uh, hole right there. You don't want it to be raggedy looking. So I don't know if you saw that, but you notice I did not do the back of the earring up until this point. But I called Rhonda and I was like, Rhonda, come look at this. She was like, I know you're going to do the back, aren't you? So... I went ahead and did the back of the earring with the purple glitter. So I would recommend this uh, six by six inch marble paper from Bleds. It was on Amazon. This particular pack of 24 was $6.99. This is not a paid endorsement. I was not paid. I was just contacted. And when I said yes, they said they would send me the product and they did. So, this is not a paid endorsement at all, but I enjoyed doing it. Gave me a chance to make another pair of earrings. 
All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And don't forget to give me a thumbs up when you finish watching this video. Thank you so much. I appreciate you.